Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to practice our fluency today with an article called Matter and Energy, Evaporation and Condensation. It's from Newzella. Um, so I'll give you the link for that as well um, and so that you can finish reading that on the Newzella website. But again, we're going to break this down by the syllable because this syllable, for example, will come up in more than one word. It'll come up in numerous words. So if you can see that and remember and recall the sounds that it makes, then you'll be more likely to decode words that have this particular syllable in it. So make sure you're either um, reading at exactly the same time as me, or if you choose to echo me, listen to what I say and then read it, but you're looking at the letters because we want to imprint in your brain this letter combination with the sound that we make. If you're just repeating the sounds and not really looking at the screen, your brain will grow a little, but it won't grow nearly as much as we want in the ways that we want it to grow. So please make sure that you are looking at the letters and reading them as you make those sounds so that your brain can form those pathways. All right, let's get started. Ev, er, e, thing, everything. Mat, ter, matter, diff, fur, ent, different, sol, id, solid, li, quid, liquid. Everything in the world is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. It can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, and gas. Pro, cess, s, processes. X, am, pulls, examples. E, vap. O, Ray, Sean, Evaporation, Con, Den, Say, Sean, Condensation. Read with me. Matter can also change from one state to another. It does this through different processes. Two examples are evaporation and condensation. In evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, matter changes from a gas to a liquid. From the beginning, everything in the world is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. It can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can also change from one state to another. It does this through different processes. Two examples are evaporation and condensation. In evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, matter changes from a gas to a liquid. Tie, knee, tiny, Move, ing, moving. Par, t, coals, particles. Mol, e, cules, molecules. Hap, pen, happen. N, er, G, energy. All matter is made of tiny moving particles. These are called molecules. Evaporation and condensation happen when molecules gain or lose energy. This energy takes the form of heat. From the beginning, the reason why we read and reread the first few paragraphs is because repeated readings like this 
help you to grow uh, your reading fluency, help you to grow your speed and your ability to read in a way that sounds great to you and others. Everything in the world is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. It can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can also change from one state to another. It does this through different processes. Two examples are evaporation and condensation. In evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, matter changes from a gas to a liquid. All matter is made of tiny moving particles. These are called molecules. Evaporation and condensation happen when molecules gain or lose energy. This energy takes the form of heat. Heat, ed, heated. Pud, dull, puddle. Small, er, smaller. Dis, app, peer, disappear. How, ev, er, however. Ack, chew, al, lee, actually. They, poor. Vapor. Evaporation happens when a liquid is heated. For example, when the sun heats the water in a puddle, the puddle gets smaller. The water seems to disappear. However, it actually moves into the air as gas. This gas is called water vapor. From the beginning, just a little bit faster. Everything in the world is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. It can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can also change from one state to another. It does this through different processes. Two examples are evaporation and condensation. In evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, matter changes from a gas to a liquid. All matter is made of tiny moving particles. These are called molecules. Evaporation and condensation happen when molecules gain or lose energy. This energy takes the form of heat. Evaporation happens when a liquid is heated. For example, when the sun heats the water in a puddle, the puddle gets smaller. The water seems to disappear. However, it actually moves into the air as gas. This gas is called water vapor. Fast, ter, faster. Fast, test, fastest. Sir, face, surface. Hot, ter, hotter. Quick, lee, quickly. S, cape, escape. All molecules in a liquid move. Some move faster than others, though. The fastest molecules are usually at the surface of a liquid. As they get hotter, they move around more quickly. This gives them more energy. Soon, they have enough energy to break away from other water molecules. This allows them to escape. They leave the liquid as gas molecules. Everything in the world is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. 
It can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can also change from one state to another. It does this through different processes. Two examples are evaporation and condensation. In evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, matter changes from a gas to a liquid. All matter is made of tiny moving particles. These are called molecules. Evaporation and condensation happen when molecules gain or lose energy. This energy takes the form of heat. Evaporation happens when a liquid is heated. For example, when the sun heats the water in a puddle, the puddle gets smaller. The water seems to disappear. However, it actually moves into the air as gas. This gas is called water vapor. All molecules in a liquid move. Some move faster than others, though. The fastest molecules are usually at the surface of a liquid. As they get hotter, they move around more quickly. This gives them more energy. Soon they have enough energy to break away from the other water molecules. This allows them to escape. They leave the liquid as gas molecules. An, auth, er, another. Pro, cess, process. <clears throat> Boil, ing, boiling. Heat, ed, heated. Bub, bulls, bubbles. Tem, per, a, Cure. Temperature. Another process that can change a liquid to a gas is boiling. This happens when a liquid is heated. As it gets hotter, its molecules move faster. Bubbles of vapor form within the liquid. Then they rise to the surface. It has to get very hot for this to happen. The temperature that causes a liquid to boil is called the boiling point. This should have said bubbles, plural, my mistake. So when we see it again shortly, we will say it bubbles instead of bubble, sorry. Everything in the world is made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. It can exist in three different states, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter can also change from one state to another. It does through this through different processes. Two examples are evaporation and condensation. In evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, matter changes from a gas to a liquid. All matter is made of tiny moving particles. These are called molecules. Evaporation and condensation happen when molecules gain or lose energy. This energy takes the form of heat. Evaporation happens when a liquid is heated. For example, when the sun heats the water in a puddle, the puddle gets smaller. The water seems to disappear. However, it actually moves into the air as gas. This gas is called water vapor. All molecules in a liquid move. Some move faster than others, though. The fastest molecules are usually at the surface of a liquid. As they get hotter, they move around more quickly. <clears throat> this gives them more energy. Soon they have enough energy to break away from the other water molecules. This allows them to escape. They leave the liquid as gas molecules. Another process that can change a liquid to a gas is boiling. This happens when a liquid is heated. As it gets hotter, its molecules move faster. Bubbles of vapor form within the liquid. Then they rise to the surface. 
It has to get very hot for this to happen. The temperature that causes